Welcome to Empower Your Pattern with President James Hendrick. Member of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints, Success, Confidence, and Thrive Coach, and Adversity Educator. He'll teach you the patterns of how to enjoy a better and extraordinary life right now, along with ways to cope with the adversities of everyday life. So if you come with us, we'll be ready. Let's fly. Red alert, pattern round. Mental illness, red alert. Social media is targeting your mental health. Hello guys, uh, this, this episode is DBE 59. Uh, this episode is called Social Media. The Devil's Mental Illness Workshop. And, and this is, and I know... You guys were hoping to maybe hear something different. Trust me. I don't like having to talk about this. I really don't. But it, it goes to the premises, premise of what I've always believed when I started Empower Your Pattern. Entrepreneurs. Thought leaders. And individual members of pattern realm. Have you ever noticed? Social media is targeting mental health. I'm sorry, folks, but I see it as something that's very obvious. Very obvious. Simon Sinek said that the next generations, Generation Z and Generation Alpha, are more connected to their smartphones and social media than they are in with the people in the world around them. And it's created an epidemic where companies anymore, corporations, they don't care about the personal and human development of those within the company. They just want the bottom line. And they believe that technology can help them do that. But what about workers being more distracted? How about people being overwhelmed when they're trying to be a, a to do a task? But there's a social media alert here, a social media alert there. You're going to say, well, Jimmy, why are you attacking social media all of a sudden? You haven't done that in a while. Well, I think it, uh, you know, some of you may get mad at me, but I think it needs to be done. It needs to be done. I've been saying early on that social media is part of the reactive arm of our degenerate culture. And and you don't even have to ask who is behind our degenerate culture. Anybody that is in Christ knows who's behind that. Now, am I saying that social media is all evil? No, I'm not saying that. But what I am saying is that because of social media, people aren't getting proactively informed about the reality that is around them. I call it toilet paper wall journalism and toilet paper wall truth. And I'm not even talking political. Seriously. Seriously. 
guys, I'm saying this. Social media puts a target on our back to affect our mental, our mental health. Let me ask you something. How many of you have you seen social media impact some of your personal relationships? To where you're just so overwrought and overwhelmed, you don't know which end is up. You don't know what's going to happen in that relationship, and everything in your life is falling apart. Listen to me. I'm speaking the truth here. Social media is the devil's workshop of mental illness. Okay? I'm not playing around here. It's there. How do you know, Jimmy? I know. I'm seeing it. You don't have any social media news alerts that I get on a regular basis, let alone the many social media alerts. And it's not that I mind, but it's just, you know, when I'm trying to focus on just living my life, do you think I want my smartphone to become a part to, 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 to form my environment? No. We here in Pattern Realm, we are supposed to form our part, uh, part of our environment to be centered around Christ. But the problem is, the problem is, and, and I'm saying this, social media is one of our enemies. Because it is the adversary's workshop. He's working on it to destroy our mental health. Man, Jimmy, why you gotta say that? Not all social media is bad. I'm not saying it is. But I'm also seeing enough the past week to know that if you don't watch what comes through your feeds on social media, your life can be an absolute hell. Your mental health can get wrecked just like that. You're just trying to live your life and make a difference. When I started this series, I had one burning question. Where do I belong? Guess what? Social media is another one of those obstacles to finding belonging. Oh, we think it's going to help. You don't think I don't know? I don't think it's going to help? No. In social media, I don't think there's a place for belonging. I don't think there's a place for, for we understand. No. Social media is like the wild west of the internet. Listen to me. I'm, 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 I mean, normally I don't preach to you, but I feel like I have to. I, d I don't want Cameron to say it. I don't want Cameron to say it. But I have to say it. We are on a red alert for our mental health. Because of an infantile reactive system through social media and, and our smartphones. <clears throat> when we need to be focusing on Christ. And how to live our, our, our life with Christ. Listen to me. <clears throat> we as Christians, we as members of Pattern Room, we can, we can win in the end. If we can be vigilant. I'm, I mean, I'm preaching this the best way I can. Social media is targeting people's mental health. This is not something to play around with. I've seen what it's been doing to mine. 
if it's a target on people's mind, ugh, you got to react to this. You got to come see this. You got to come see that. And to be honest with you, sometimes half the time, it's not good. It's terrible, okay? It's like taking a, a it's like taping taking a poop over a paper bag and you telling everybody else, Oh look at this wonderful piece of the pie. I mean and people think I'm joking, I'm not. I'm not. <clears throat> I am speaking my heart. The, the leaders of my church, the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints, have warned about some of the pernicious evils of social media. And let me tell you something. I started hearing about it in 2018. And I became sensitive to it. When I launched Empower Your Pattern, I, I told people straight up, social media is part of a reactive culture that is targeting people's mental health. We can beat this in the end, guys. But we have to know how to win. We have to sometimes shut, we, we got to at times shut it off and say no more because it can get overwhelming. Listen to me. I'm, I'm only saying this because I think we can, we can make a difference. We can win. But as long as we give in to the reactivity the distraction from what God has called us to do, be, and have by the reactive part of our degenerate culture, you know what's going to happen? You lose. You don't succeed. Your mental health goes in the tank. Social media is targeting all this. And I'm telling you right now, you need to be vigilant. You need to be vigilant for your kids. You need to be vigilant for your relationships. I'm, 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 not, I'm, not, I'm not playing around here. I'm not messing around here. It's a problem that we have. And we can solve it. We can, we can lick this. We can. It's easy. It's called sending boundaries. With smartphone alerts and interruptions. It's setting boundaries with social media. But what have we become in our, in our American society? What have we become? I don't want to say it. I don't want to say it. Trust me, because I think we can lick this. I think we can lick this. I know we can lick this. I'm speaking my heart. We can lick this. It, it can be easy with the right boundaries. But I'm telling you right now, if we don't, we lose. We lose big. I'm telling you right now. All it takes is to go out there, don't sit there and take it, build your dreams, and do what others don't so you can be what others want. But social media is a cookie-cutter standard to our culture that by, unfortunately, people are measured, and it's pathetic. I'm telling you the truth. Listen to me. Isaiah chapter 5 says this, Woe unto them that call evil good, and good evil, that trade light for darkness, and darkness for light. 
that takes sweet for bitter and, and bitter for sweet. That's what's going on. That's what's going on. I'm, and I'm thinking social media can still do good. But the problem is too much of it is bad. People are afraid it and say it only talks about the good in our lives. Wrong. I've seen too much evidence to the contrary. No. It's like a slug fist, dark faced every day of our lives. And I know we can be better than this. I know that. I know we can lick this. We're smart. But we have too many problems. Every time a pin comes, we got to respond to it right there. When when my girlfriend was staying with me, you know, uh, with me for a few hours here and there on, on a certain weekend, um, I let her know, plain and clear, that I don't respond to every alert that's on my phone. I just don't. We have to set boundaries. Because if we don't, we lose. We lose. Our mental health goes completely. And we lose all sense of reason. Do you want to lose all sense of reason? I hope not. Come on. Wake up, people. I sound like I'm having to be a preacher. Because of what's going on lately. And I don't want to be. <coughs> but it's breaking my heart that social media is being used as the devil's workshop for mental health. We, we could use it as God's tool to make a difference. In the way we are. But I fear that we'd be outnumbered. Come on, guys. We're smarter than this. Can you trade an hour of social media for reading your scripture, reading your Bible? Can you stop following the celebrity gossip of the latest news feed on social media? Instead of just following it just because you can Can you do that? Because our reactive part of the degenerate, degenerate culture is stupidity. Okay? And we don't have to give in to the stupidity. We can win. I repeat, we can win. Hope you enjoy this thing. If you'd like to hear, please subscribe. Become a part of Pattern Realm. Until next time, don't just sit there and take it. Build your dreams so you can take it. And do what others don't so you can be what others won't. And do what others won't so you can have it as can't. Please share this with Mama Son, Papa Son, and everyone. This is Jimi Hendrix saying until next time. Choose, act, and pursue happiness. God bless you. And remember this, from the bottom of my heart, Jimmy loves you. I really love you. God bless you. And please, have a blessed day.